Okay, we'll try this again. My iPad keeps stopping when I'm recording, and I've had a couple of pretty good videos. Oh, now my kitchen's all crooked. It's like we're in the mystery spot. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to think this is like a message from the universe that I'm not supposed to record you guys a video, which I've had so much on my mind because I haven't been in here recording videos. I had some great videos over the weekend. I just never recorded them. So, I don't get to hear them. So, I'm really trying to do one for you guys today. Look, I'm waiting for it to stop. I'll just waste the first few minutes of the video waiting for it to stop. <laughs> So anyway, I just, I wanted to talk about um, some stuff that came up. My friend came over on Sunday to hypnotize me and she brought a lot of awareness for me to the situation even, and even a little bit of compassion, which shocks me because I'm a very compassionate person, you know, very. But I was definitely getting stuck in my hurt feelings again, so I was getting the big FUs. <laughs> um, but... And it's this whole, um, you know, you hear people say it all the time that we're just a reflection, you know, that we see other people show us who we are with their behaviors, you know? So, um, I don't really know how to talk about this without taking his inventory, because I don't, I really have no interest in taking his inventory, but... I don't dare stop the video. <laughs> May never start again. <laughs> All right, so let's just talk about. <laughs> How when people bring stuff up in us, it's an opportunity for us to expand. See, I got a million things I could talk about because a million things have come up the last few days. So, and I was just talking about this on video chat to my sisters and it's true. And there's a big part of me that's like, I don't want, no, fuck all that. I want to expand. <laughs> but really, I do. I do want to expand. Um, life gets easier and easier. Um, I'm in this entrepreneurial shift thing, and he was asking us, you know, what we're good at, you know? And he starts talking about, like, breakups. You've been through a lot of breakups. You're like, <laughs> And I do think I'm handling this one a lot better than I have any of the ones in the past. But this one's really different, too. So, really different. Just complete lack of emotions on his side. To just And, and that's what drove me nuts inside the relationship, too. So, I, it's really no surprise that there's just nothing emotionally going on with that man. So, And like my friend told me on um, Sunday that he's just... A representation this will all tie back to the expansion without taking too much of his inventory <laughs> that he represented all the people in my childhood that never validated me weren't there for me emotionally um, couldn't be bothered to show me any of my value and you know and he's not the person to do that for me now and that's what he showed me by triggering all that stuff inside of me, gave me an opportunity to look at that stuff myself. I'm the only one that can handle that stuff now. And that ties back into the expansion. So, and it can even be something simple as just being in traffic, you know what I mean? And people piss you off in traffic or, you know, you're really um, irritated with people in the grocery store or whatever, you know, it's a chance to expand who you are and how you respond and what things trigger you and don't trigger you because like the video about um, giving your power away by letting the conditions outside of you affect what kind of mood you're in and that's why you know being in the grocery store with a million people I'm like yeah it's not something I want to do but it's definitely an opportunity for me to expand in this whole um, you know I'm gonna vibrate at the level I want to vibrate at I'm gonna feel the way I want to feel despite what's going on around me. And so, a busy grocery store is a great place to practice. <laughs> so it's traffic sometimes, too. I, I use traffic a lot because I know a lot of people deal with the traffic thing, but really, traffic's not a big thing for me anymore. I am usually 
I've been the asshole in traffic so many times that I really don't have any right to yell or get frustrated with anybody else. I mean, like, and sometimes didn't even realize it until afterwards, and I was like, uh oh, I was the asshole that time. Like, um, but yeah, that's that's the whole thing. We always have a choice in how we respond to situations, and in the moment, it doesn't feel like we have a choice, and and sometimes we get so caught up in our stories that. Um, we can't in the moment, but after the moment's passed, we can definitely clean up any messes we made or at least just spend some time with ourselves in a place of how could I handle this differently next time? You know, what what is this for me? Why did this come up in me? Why did I respond that way and how could I respond differently? And I've had a lot of expansion in this relationship and, and a lot of expansion since it ended and I'm grateful for all of it <laughs> and I probably could be an expert on breakups because you know I got a few things that I'm doing that's you know making it easier and taking some of the edge off and mostly I'm just you know caring about how I feel I'm just caring about how I feel and I just ask myself like I woke up Saturday morning just I've been missing him. We have such a deep energy connection and no emotional connection. How weird is that, right? So I miss his presence. I don't miss how confused and emotionally locked up he is because that brings up all kinds of stuff inside of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I woke up Saturday morning really missing his presence, just just wanting to be near him, <clears throat> wanting to connect. <clears throat> and I just didn't let my mind go very far. I just said, I understand completely why you feel that way, Arlene. Why wouldn't you? You love this man very much, and it is a beautiful thing. Um, it just scares me, so he doesn't want to be a part of it. It creates expansions in him and makes his mask of surface dwelling, which he thought was a way of life, but he found out it was a mask once he hung out with me for a minute. He didn't like the reflection. But yeah, I was just like, you know, why wouldn't you? This man's madly in love with you. You're madly in love with him. He's just all twisted up in his issues. You got stuff you need to look at, so why wouldn't you miss him? And then I said, but how do you want to feel? I said that to me a few times. Because I'll start to get swept away and stuff. And I'm like, how do you want to feel? So. That's creating a ton of expansion in me. I'm going to be like. So unconditional. 